So hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Martin Bolter and over the coming weeks and months, I'm going to be putting content out there to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. Uh, first off, what we've got to do is find the uh, generator, the Aerofoil generator. And if you Google NACA Seneca NACA section generator, uh, you, the first, usually the first one, is the airfoilstool.com. Click that. Uh, this will send you to this website. Um, first off, we've got a uh, asymmetrical NACA section here. Uh, great if you want to provide lift for um, foils. Um, or you want an asymmetric trim tab or T-foil for some reason. Um, if you don't, what you need to do is uh, give the max camber pos position to zero, uh, the max uh, camber position percentage to zero as well, um, and plot those. This will then give you a symmetric uh, NACA section. Uh, what we have been doing um, in lesson is we've been closing the trailing edge. That's been causing a few little issues when it imports into uh, AutoCAD. So I'm going to leave that one open. And I, what I'll do is I'll close the trailing edge actually in AutoCAD. Uh, the next step is to copy and paste all of the DAT file data um, and put that into Notepad. So there we go. Uh, the next step with it when it's in Notepad is at the right at the very top, put spline in capitals. Um, and now what we've got to do is we've got to get rid of all the spaces because down the middle here, we're going to have to replace that with commas. Um, and we need to get rid of the spaces at the front end because uh, AutoCAD uh, doesn't like them being there. So I'm going to highlight the first two spaces. Click Edit, Replace. Uh, I'm replacing the two spaces now, so I just hit the space bar twice, and I'm going to replace it with nothing. Click Replace All, and then close that, and you'll see all the spaces have gone. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through, putting the commas in between the two numbers, and while I do this, I'm just going to pause the video, so you can see that I've put all the commas in all the way up through, all the way. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the file and I'm going to save it as, uh, in this instance, I'm going to call it NACA. And then you've got to remember to put the .scr in as the file type. Uh, then just click save. Uh, you can close that down and we can go into AutoCAD now. Uh, if you now just type in SCR, uh, you'll get this dialog box and it's the first one at the top, script, click that. Select the NACA section that we just saved, open it, and we should end up with this image going on in AutoCAD. Um, we don't need to do anything apart from hit enter three times. Um, now it looks like it's disappeared. Now this is because it's imported into AutoCAD at a very small size. So if you go over here, um, to this dialog box on the right hand side um, and click just zoom extent. Uh, we now zoom right into the NACA section that we just uh, brought in and you see that we've got um, one half of it so we're going to mirror it around the center line so I'm just going to click mirror uh, I'm going to select the object with a left click I'm then going to do a right click which then allows me to select the base point for the mirror. So I'm going to use the end point uh, right at the leading edge. Um, I've switched on ortho mode down at the bottom here. Uh, this will make sure that it, it just does a 90 degree uh, rotation. Um, and once you're happy, just click left click the mouse button. Um, and then erase source object is no. And now we have the mirrored NACA section. If we just go over to the trailing edge, one thing we'll see is that the trailing edge is uh, open. So we're just going to close that with a line. If 
you wanted to, you could put a carry the triangle on um, or put a circle in there, but I'm just going to close it off nice and simply with a straight line. Now, because it's so small, we're going to have to scale it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the scale button. Uh, I'm going to select the objects that I want to scale. Um, I'm going to then with a left click and now with a right click, I'll give my base point for my scale. Um, and now I'm going to scale it up. Now you can, if you know the uh, length that you want it to be, you can just type it in. So I'm just going to type in 200 because I know I want it to be 200 millimeters uh, long. Uh, click enter and then you now have it scaled up to 200 mil. If we then change the uh, uh, to our 3D modeling view and I'm just going to go swap it so that we can see it in a in our isotropic view. If we now press pull and we select the whole bounded area um, and I'm going to extrude uh, press pull it up to 200 mil again. Uh, so I'm going to actually put in 200 mil and then press enter. Um, and there we have our NACA section imported in um, as a solid object, which could be, is going to be useful for some of us because we might want to then uh, place our rudder stock in there and do a, a solid subtract. Um, but ultimately, that is how we get a NACA section into AutoCAD. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more content to do with AutoCAD 2020 and Inventor 2020. If you've liked what you've uh, watched and it's worked for you, hit that like button and also add any comments for any future uh, content you want to see and I'll uh, try and put something together for you. Thank you very much for watching.